appears in. Okay, uh, what are QR codes and, and why should you care? Uh, well, oh, see, I can't even work a mouse. <laughs> That's a QR code. Okay, you've seen them about, undoubtedly, they're appearing more and more on posters, on uh, adverts, on the telly, uh, even in magazines and so on. More and more uh, places are uh, producing these QR codes. Um, but what exactly is it? Well, there we are, that's the official definition, it's a matrix barcode. Uh, so everything's clear now and I can probably just stop here. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, it's sometimes called a quick response code and that's slightly more helpful because essentially what it allows you to do is to put in graphical form um, some bit of text and that bit of text can be a variety of different things. It could be a web address and that's most commonly what it's used for. It's a, a quick shortcut, a quick response so that if you see it uh, on a poster at a bus stop or in a magazine, rather than having to type in a web address or fire up Google or whatever, you point uh, your phone with a camera on it and Press a button and off you go to the website. Uh, but it can be used in other ways as well. An SMS text message uh, is, is something I saw quite recently and I thought that's a really smart idea. It was in the window of a charity shop and it said, would you like to donate to the, the disaster appeal for the, for the earthquake? Uh, and there was a QR code. You pointed your phone at it, pressed the button, uh, and it formed the text for you with the number filled in and with the I would like to donate five pounds type stuff. And all you had to do then was press the send and you automatically donated to that charity appeal. So things like that it can do which are quite smart, uh, or it can send your contact details. The example I had up a minute ago was actually my contact details. I'll, I'll put it back up again at the end if anybody has it. Because what you need is you need a, a reader app. You need some way of decoding uh, these, uh, these codes. The one I use is called Enigma, uh, I-Enigma, uh, and it's available on a variety of platforms. So you can use it on a smartphone, but you can also just use it uh, on, on a laptop or a tablet device, as long as it's got a camera, you will almost certainly find some sort of QR uh, reader. Um, the other thing about Enigma, Enigma, rather, it claims to be the most widely used uh, barcode reader. I have no way of verifying that. I don't know what Wikipedia has to say about it. <laughs> uh, but um, they also, as well as uh, is, uh, reading barcodes with Enigma, uh, you'll see uh, about barcodes, create barcodes. There we are. Oh, you can go to their website and you can create your own QR codes, and that's where it becomes really fun as far as education is concerned, because um, once you, it's one thing just to sort of be able to scan it, the things that other people have created, but to be able to do it yourself, to use some sort of online uh, QR code generation tool, uh, or you can use, this, uh, there's an app called Easy QR, um, and you can download that, install it on your phone, and you can create QR codes directly on your phone. You go to a website, you fire up the Easy QR, and it will create the, the link for you, the, the code for you. Uh, or you can get a QR code bookmarklet, you can stick it in the bookmarklet bar in your browser, and whenever you arrive at a website that you would like to create a QR code for, you can just hit that button, uh, and off it will go. And how can you use it? Well, all sorts of ways, in the time available, just there's a few ideas. Um, and uh, QR code treasure hunts, I think is a great way, there's actually Google that, you will find a website that allows you to generate a number uh, of QR codes that, that, that take children on a journey. And that can be a physical journey, it can be an outside treasure hunt. They can run about and find things, find the next QR code, take them to the next one, uh, solve a maths problem, go to the next one, and so on. Uh, you, can re uh, you can use quick votes, you can use it to, to vote, so you can put up two or three uh, QR codes or any number that you like, uh, and they can scan the one that they think is the right answer. It can take you to a poll and it will display the results uh, live uh, on, on screen as, as, as the children <coughs> scan in uh, the codes or as people scan in the codes. Um, you can actually be quite sneaky. You can use a, 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 a facility like a SNP URL uh, to, to create a single QR code, but it can go to a different place every week because you can alter it in SNP URL. So you send it to a different place. You can have a news of the day or a news of the week. It's the same QR code. You can just print it and display it. Uh, but every week you change it and snip URL will go to a different place. Uh, it can link to video, you can stick QR codes uh, into textbooks, uh, and there's a video that's running there. This is a textbook, it has to be an old uh, edition of a standard grade computing textbook. But quite often, it's not the same as you have to use the in conclusion, <laughs> uh, quick response code, that's my uh, details. If you have a QR code reader, you can do that. The other thing, uh, around the campus, uh, I've put up a number of posters. Uh, so there, for example, there's the, the uh, P 
periodic table as a series of QR codes. That will take you to some fantastic videos, brilliant websites uh, for each of the elements in the, in the QR, uh, sorry, in the periodic table, not the QR table. Uh, but it can do things like um, just send text, so you can send uh, just bundles of text, save kids typing stuff in. Uh, you can send, send them to a picture, a graphic, or whatever. If it's online, you can get there. Uh, what's this one? Uh, that'll take you to the consolarium. It's quite nice because you can go as deep as you like. Instead of on this huge and long uh, web address, you can just go straight there. Um, what else have we got? Curriculum for Excellence. Do you want to know the four capacities? This will teach you in a song. Okay, so go there and you can hear the four capacities sung and sing it. I suggest you do this every morning when you wake up, sing the four capacities song. Uh, uh, how to, um, what are these square things? That's a good one. If you haven't, uh, there's a, uh, either scan that in or go to Mr. Robbo's website uh, and he gives you all sorts of fantastic ideas of how you can use QR codes in education. And lastly, is that the seven minutes? Uh, lastly, uh, you can go to videos and that's just some examples. So I'll leave these lying about, they're scattered about the, the campus, uh, but contact me or go to Mr. Robbo, tons of ways you can use QR codes in education.